Hi everyone, it's Paul Bordelon here from Clary Sachs eLearning. I am passionate about helping you enhance your life through the joy of playing the clarinet by sharing step by step the secrets that I have discovered that fire a truly fulfilling and wondrous friendship between human and clarinet. Today's video is about hand and finger position and it is number four in my detailed videos. I started with a general introduction to the four vital technical fundamentals of clarinet playing, which were posture, breathing, embouchure, and this one, the fourth one, on hand and finger position. Good hand position does such a lot to aid technique and to help you get around the clarinet easily and make your playing more enjoyable and more fun. Hand position has three primary objectives. Number one, we have to cover these holes. Any gaps here leads to air escaping. The tube is not sealed at that point, which it has to be in order to make a good clean note. You'll often find that squeaks are caused by fingers not covering. Objective number two is to keep the movement of the fingers minimal so that when we move them up and down they're not straightening, they're not lifting far off, they're a very economical movement, probably about one to one and a half centimeters above the hole maximum is, is the most efficient. Number three it's really important that we can access all these other keys. So at the top here on the first finger of the left hand, the first finger of the right hand, and the baby fingers have all got quite a lot of key work to access. And we want access to those efficiently and easily. Our, a bad hand position will make those keys much more difficult to access and make fast playing or smooth playing much more difficult. There is one more objective, so actually four. The natural position of our hands enables very economical finger motion to accomplish the note changes efficiently. So I'm going to go on now to give you some steps to help you to achieve this hand position. Now I always give my students this um, analogy and then I'm going to follow on with a, another separate video with a 10 point hand position checklist, which you could should feel free to access that video to double check what you're doing with your hand position. But I always say to reach out and grab the clarinet or grip the clarinet in a normal relaxed way and then to just release it slightly enough to get it out. And that's your natural hand position with the same curvature and the same hole or gap there and that is your natural hand position. So I then put the right hand in position with the thumb on the thumb rest between the knuckle and the nail. That's the sort of start of your hand position. Then if you reach out with the left hand and do exactly the same, grip the clarinet very lightly in a natural position, release just enough to bring the hand down into position and I always start with the thumb and the first finger in position. So that's step one. Step one and two in actual fact. Right hand thumb under the thumb rest, left hand thumb and forefinger covering the highest of the two holes, the thumb hole and the first finger hole. Notice the curvature of the fingers in that same natural position that we found when we released the clarinet. Then I always um, try to get my students, and this sometimes takes a little bit of time, to lean their hand backwards, not that far, but definitely not perpendicular to the clarinet. If you see the gap from the first finger to the A key, if the finger is straight like that, it makes it much more difficult. If you lean the clarinet back, lean the, sorry, lean the hand back a little bit, then that finger is already touching that A key. 
okay and the G sharp key if your hand is in a nice relaxed key uh, position that key is nice and handy at access you don't have to move it far to get to it and then the thumb should be covering the hole but also touching that key so that again there's not a lot of movement required a tiny minuscule one millimeter movement sorry you're not in front of the camera there uh, one millimeter of movement accesses that key so that's all to do with efficiency um, of movement economy of movement and then the baby fingers should also have that natural curve and be able to access those keys and on the right hand those keys with and, and again it's that leaning back of the hand that makes those keys more accessible if your fingers are at right angles to the clarinet these are not easily accessible it, it's really hard to demonstrate without you know actually seeing what you're doing and, and helping you to achieve that but hopefully you can see the overall shape of the fingers and the hand at an angle you can see the fingers are not at 90 degrees they're at about 45 degrees maybe a bit less to the perpendicular okay um my next video as i've said is a checklist a 10 point checklist for your hand and finger position so please access that if i could ask you to like this video um, if you do like it or even if you don't it will help me um, to get my channel uh, seen more widely but also if you'd like to put any comments in the comment section please do and to subscribe to my channel so that you know when there is some more content coming out i look forward to seeing you in the next video